been my honor to welcome uh, the Prime Minister of Macedonia to the Oval Office. Prime Minister, I am grateful for your friendship. I'm grateful for the strong support that you've given in our efforts to win the war on terror. You've been a steadfast ally and the American people are grateful. I also appreciate the fact that you've committed troops alongside our troops and some of the world's newest democracies in Afghanistan and Iraq. I want to thank you for that as well. I also appreciate the uh, progress you've made in implementing the Oak Ridge Agreement. You've showed the world that uh, it's possible for people of different backgrounds to live together in peace. I want to thank you for your leadership. I also compliment you on the progress you've made uh, toward implementing the reforms are necessary for consideration in NATO and the EU. I know this is a big concern to you. I want to thank you for sharing your thoughts with me about your country's desire to join NATO and your aspirations for the EU. I appreciate that very much. Thank you for your confidence. All in all, I'm impressed by your leadership. I welcome you to the Oval Office. Thank you, Mr. President. I feel big here in the White House to be President Bush and the historic 10th anniversary of the U.S.-Macedonian bilateral relations, which I must say have never been closed. We have agreed that today Macedonia is a success story in building a stable multi democracy in the Balkans. I thank President Bush for the continuous U.S. support of our democracy, specifically for the U.S. role in the implementation of the Office Framework Agreement, and it also expressed the gratitude of the people of Macedonia for U.S. recognition of our constitutional name, Republic of Macedonia. And I told the President that we are proud to have our soldiers in Iraq and Afghanistan, and they will intend to stay there as long as it is needed. We highly appreciate the leadership of President Bush and advancing freedom and democracy throughout the world. We have both emphasized the importance of Macedonia's NATO integration and EU candidacy in cementing our progress and helping the region make the final step on the path of the Europe. And finally, I told President Bush that Macedonia will continue to play a positive and constructive role in the Balkan, especially now when Belgrade and Pristina together with the national community will start negotiation about the very of terms that is possible. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.